Hello and welcome to my channel, Distinctly Handcrafted. My name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. Alright everyone, so today I am here to talk about um, some projects that are a project that I worked on. But first let me go ahead and give some shout outs. So I am wearing this gorgeous hat from um, Vivian R. She made it for me and thank you so much Vivian. I love it. And I am also wearing... Um, a ruby baby in original this is her own design that she uh, made and she does have it available for sale on her website so I will link that down below so you can get one for yourself she has lots of different um, merch items and sayings to choose from so I'm sure you'll find one that fits you and your style all right so definitely check out the links below and um, thank you so much ladies all right, everyone, so what I am coming on to share with you today is I have actually been doing some macrame projects. And um, let's see, let me give another shout out to my yarny bestie, Katrina over at Mind for Crafts and More. She actually designed this uh, wall hanging, and this is the first macrame piece that I have made, and I believe this was about a year ago now. That I made this so this is really really pretty and super um, quick and I would even say uh, definitely a great beginner project because it was easy for me to follow she gives great instruction and um, does an awesome job on the tutorial so I will link this tutorial down below and thank you so much Katrina for introducing us to another craft I really enjoyed it and um, but now I was making these <laughs> out of necessity so this is actually a beginning of a plant hanger now what happened was is I had a lot of this um, cotton yarn this I believe this is like the peaches and cream Let's see if I have the yes this is the peaches and cream cotton and it's a number four worsted weight it recommends a five millimeter hook 4.5 millimeter needle 100% um, cotton made in Canada let's see if it says how much is on here it is a 400 gram cone and it's 706 yards alright so I got a bunch of these and I did the haul um, about I don't know was it 3 or 4 years ago now <laughs> when I got these and uh, so this was a really good deal but I needed to do I needed some thick cord and I didn't want to buy any cord because I had all of that so what I did was um, I just made a chain now the first the first one I did and I put in a picture somewhere probably over that way where there's more room <laughs> but I made um, the first one I made I wasn't for sure like how thick I would need the cord so I just went ahead and took three cones out and I chained three strands and it was so thick and it was like way thicker than I needed so once I actually made the project I was like this is not right so I took it apart but by me having those three strands together it was enough for me to make the three I thought I needed <laughs> So I took all of it apart and I had to separate all the strings and then I had to go ahead and chain them all up. So that was a lot of work. So it was looking something like this. and um, But then I needed like three more so I had to go back and chain up enough to do another three more. And so this is just the start of one. I have all of them looking like this so I can just um, get started with the project. Now this was a tutorial I found here on YouTube for a easy plant hanger and like if you have like if you have the cord and all the materials you need right off the bat it's like it's not a long project like it's definitely something you can get done in a couple hours or even faster if you're more familiar with macrame and um, it's it's a really nice uh, quick project to do so but my by me having to chain all this it was like a whole thing. <laughs> But anyway, um, so this is the start to one of them. And then I have three of them done, but I'll just probably show you a picture um, of one or two. And then um, that way you can see because they already have plants in them. 
all right everyone so don't they look awesome i was super excited that i was able to go ahead and work those up because i was looking everywhere for like plant hangers and um i looked well i didn't look everywhere but i went to burlington you guys saw that shop with me and also um i went to walmart and i couldn't find them and the lady i was asking the lady at walmart and she was like you know you can make those and i was like i'm a crafter yeah i know i can make them <laughs> But I was just trying to, um, you know, grab them from the store really quick. But they didn't have any available. So I am glad that they didn't because, you know, I was able to go ahead and use the resources that I had at home already and make them for myself. So thank you again to Katrina for giving me those um, skills and tools that I could be confident in looking up another tutorial for a plant hanger. I can't remember the name of the tutorial but I'll have the link down below that I follow as well as Katrina's link and everyone else that I mentioned will be down below so definitely check out the description box if you haven't already and that way you can find exactly what you're looking for um, down there <laughs> alright everyone so let me know what you think of my plant hangers have you made some of these before and um, if not, do you plan on making some and being inspired after you see the ones that I have done? All right, so let me know all of that in the comments down below. And um, yeah, like I said, I still have three more to go, but uh, they're all gonna look the same as the ones I've shown you already. So I don't really need to update you on those. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and take the time out to hit that subscribe button it would help me out so much as well as clicking that like button um right under the video there that would be helpful as well and if you would be so kind as to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the content i put out for you today that would be great as well thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one